Monday is the 4th of July, uh, the holiday where we celebrate the birth of our country uh, and the United States. Uh, and it's a, you know, a very important holiday to us in the States because it's all a holiday where we celebrate all the freedoms and all the things that we have in this nation that are not necessarily in other areas. And I think that's a really good thing. But I also think at this time, especially now, we need to maybe take a step back from all our focus on freedom and everything and think a little bit more about uh, y unity. Uh, about being a United States of America, and that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Uh, this passage uh, from Second Peter thirteen, or from First Peter two thirteen through seventeen, uh, it deals with freedom, but it also has this kind of encouragement at the end. And uh, to give a little bit of context, uh, Peter, of course, was talking to Christians who were living in the Roman Empire, and I think that's important to mention here with this. Um, because oftentimes these verses that we have in the New Testament that talk about freedom, that talk about obeying authority, uh, we think of them and we try to apply them to, uh, you know, our current our country, America, uh, and we kind of miss the point. Uh, we kind of miss the big differences between what was being dealt with here. Uh, to a lot of these Christians that. Peter would have been writing to, the Roman Empire would not necessarily have been seen the way that we see the United States of America. They would have been seen as conquerors, people who were oppressing their people uh, and their ethnic, ethnic group uh, through their own military conquest. And they probably wouldn't have had a very positive light about that. Uh, so Peter here is in many ways encouraging these believers to not join in in any rebellions or anything like that. Uh, and that is important. But I, for us, I think we need to kind of distance ourselves a little bit away from there and focus specifically on the very last part of this verse. And that's really what I want to bring to you, where he, Peter is saying to show proper respect to everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, and honor the emperor. Um, you know, and I think for us, this is still very, very, very applicable to today. Uh, very basically from this, you know, it's just the idea of respecting people that are around us, regardless of what they believe, regardless of uh, what they might, how they might sit on the political spectrum, regardless of what they might think about certain political issues within our country. Uh, similarly, we should also respect those who are in authority. Uh, now, there is a little bit of a caveat here, and Peter, as well as other writers in the New Testament, make this caveat, which is that if the, uh, if the government is forcing you to do something that is completely contrary to your religious beliefs, that is against the will of God, that is against his scriptures, at that point you are allowed to say no. At that point, you're allowed to disobey in that way, uh, though they are not call though that is not a call for armed rebellion in that sort of way. The New Testament never calls for any of those types of things. And in fact, the early church seemed to be very heavily pacifistic. Uh, and so we shouldn't be thinking in, in sort of that way. But yes, if something occurs that is against the scriptures, that is against what it is taught in the gospels, that is the time where Christians are allowed to resist and to resist in a peaceful sort of way. Um, but in all other things, we should respect the law of our country, respect the authority of our country, regardless of whether we like it or not. Now, that doesn't mean that we need to respect it and be... That doesn't, respecting doesn't mean that you necessarily need to be quiet. Uh, there is something that you believe politically uh, is wrong uh, and that you believe very, very strongly. Go and go and protest. Go and uh, peacefully demonstrate. Uh, but, you know, let's, let's always make sure to kind of draw that line uh, and keep ourselves out of the, out of doing things that bring harm to other people. And I, I would encourage even this even more than anything else. Uh, try to see the other side of these issues. Try to understand where other people are coming from and look at those people as not being terrible human beings because they believe something different than you. Look at them as people who just believe something differently and maybe they have a good reason for it. And I think if you really take the time to kind of, 
you know, look at those types of things and sort of dig into it. You can kind of, well, you might not switch your position. You might, you'll be able to kind of get to the point where you can understand where somebody else is coming from and you won't feel like you need to beat them over the head whenever they say something you don't agree with. Uh, so in this way, I think we'll be able to honor the scripture. In this way, I think we will also be able to honor our founding fathers, uh, who they themselves dealt with things in this way. Uh, so, you know, uh, have a great 4th of July, um, stay safe, uh, and I will see you all next week, uh, after our last song today. <laughs>